Hello and welcome to Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host, Jalindo, and today we're playing FTL, Faster Than Light. So we're going to jump right into the game. I'm going to start on easy because I do want to play the higher difficulties later on in the channel when it's more popular and probably other ships as well. We'll start with the default ship for today with the advanced edition enabled. And we got to have some variety in our in our crew here. I am playing on co uh, colorblind mode, so if you are colorblind, I hope this makes it a little easier to to read what's going on and to see what's going on. We're going to start with this ship. The data the data we carry is vital to the Federation fleet. We have to deliver this data in before the rebels catch us because the data apparently is going to help us to destroy the rebel fleet. We actually started in a nebula. That's something that I haven't had happen before. Cool. I will go ahead and jump through the nebulas. First I'm going to, since we're, we are going through nebulas, nebulas sometimes trigger sensor, uh, sen having better sensors, level 2 sensors, sometimes trigger events in nebulas, and since we have five right here, why not? We'll jump right over here. Pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it is attempting to avoid your ship, you assume that it's a smuggler trying to stay away from beacons. Well, we can't have smuggling. Let's, let's go ahead and take him down. You power up your weapons and move in to engage. No smuggling for you, smuggler. <laughs> now that's trash talk. No smuggling, smuggler. Powering up the weapons. They shot a missile at us. I hate missiles. They're awfully painful to use because you run out of missiles, but they always hurt when the computer's using them, so eh. I'm going to aim for the shields and weapons. Aim for that next, and get rid of that drone. First couple of sectors are probably going to be pretty easy given our our difficulty level. They hail you. We realize our ship is no match for you, yours. If you let us go, we can make it worth your while. Yeah, I, I accept surrender. I I I I don't want to. If somebody's going to surrender, I don't want to just take them down. It's mean. It's mean. Let's hit this distress signal over here. We're doing a lot on the left side of the map. The fleet will start coming in pretty soon. You follow the distress beacon to a tiny asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. Hail them to offer assistance. They respond, help, our shields are down. We won't last long. We don't have upgraded shields yet, so this is probably not going to work. Yep. You succeed in preventing them from being entirely destroyed, but we took a number of hits in the process. They offer some of your scrap, uh, their scrap and fuel. They were mining out of the asteroid as things. So we got four fuel, 29 scrap, and got a little damage to the hull. I think it's worth it. Let's go ahead and just vent this whole compartment. So that that weapon will, the, the weapons will get, the fire in the weapons compartment will get put out. We'll move Brecken out, have him heal up a little bit. And, ah, uh, yeah, it took out our weapons. There we go. Go ahead and even out all that oxygen. So we can open open outside doors to put out fires or to reduce oxygen if we have intruders on board and that helps take care of the intruders. And we can also open the interior doors if you have differences between oxygen levels in different rooms. Opening the, the interior doors like this will even out all of that and help your oxygen go back up faster. So. We're going to move everybody in to just go ahead and get that repaired quickly. Alrighty. And we're going to push that button to move everybody back. Oh, they're in the wrong place. I want them over there. Yes. We're going to save that position. Save. And now we're going to jump. Actually, let's check our ship. Let's go ahead and grab autopilot. Because that can open up some possibilities. Jump to the next nebula. Oh, dangerous nebula. You jump to a sector of the nebula beset by a plasma storm. An automated rebel scout station at the beacon moves into attack. So, yeah. Let's get rid of this guy and get going. Uh-oh. We're out of... We can't actually use our weapons because of the energy storm. So let's take out the... Ooh, I hate to do this. Take out the shields, put it into, and the engines. No, O2, and put it into burst laser. We got to do this fast because, yeah, we're kind of defenseless without shields. So we're gonna want to take out their 
Weapons immediately. And their drone, because he's going to be shooting at us. Hopefully we can get through their shields. It looks like they don't have any shields. They've depowered them, but they do have their drone and their weapons powered, so we want to get rid of that ASAP. There we go. They're down. Now they got their shields up, and we'll go ahead and take those pieces down, hopefully. Yes. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Awesome. Now we have to put out the fire. Where did the fire start? Let's close all our doors. We can't close our doors because the door controls are offline. Let's get those repaired, guys. Got to be able to open and shut our doors, put out the fire wherever it is. Fire's in the engine compartment. So now I can open these and hopefully get that fire put out. Let's get the captain back to his his uh, piloting station. What do you even call that on a ship? Bridge? Get back to the bridge. Let's keep going through this nebula. Nebula delays the rebel fleet from pursuing, and so jumping through nebulas can allow you to get more jumps in a single sector. You find two heavily damaged ships floating nearby, the remains of a battle. You begin to harvest some useful debris when you hear the sounds of someone beaming on board, uh, followed by shouts uh, of a boarding party. You get one fuel, one drone part, and 21 scrap, but intruders are on board. So let's pause. I think we're still putting out that fire. I'm not sure if it's out or not. Looks like they're beaming in to the, the bridge. So we'll have to, we'll have Azimu and GM Fox fight them there. Oh, there's more there. We're also gonna depressurize a lot of the ship. Actually, you know what? Let's depressurize the entire ship, and we'll have everyone move to the medic medic bay med bay. There we go. Uh oh, do I have my I have my meds my med bay off? Oh, how convenient! This could be awful. Okay, we're fine. That was close. Did not recognize what I had done there. Okay, I think everything is down. So let's send him back out. Nope, can't. Gotta get the oxygen back up. Our oxygen is off, of course. All the things going wrong. Ugh. Okay, things are gonna get back to normal. Get everybody healed up. Let's send Brecken back to repair his engines. Back to engineering. We'll send these two up front to repair the bridge. And then we can get out of here. This has been a tough couple of couple of jumps we've had here. Alright, I think that'll do it. Move everybody back to where they're supposed to be. Close all the doors. Actually, we probably should leave those open just so everything equalizes. We're gonna wait till the oxygen gets up to about 80%. Once it gets there, we're gonna jump. And there we go. Close doors, now we're gonna jump. Jump to the last nebula, and then we're going to head towards the exit pretty quick after that. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. However, without functioning sensors, it is impossible to tell what is inside. Attack the automated ship to get to the station. Avoid provoking the ship. Yeah, let's, uh, let's attack the automated scout ship here. Let's use the missiles to get rid of the shields, and we'll use burst laser on the weapons. Let's power up our shields because they were depowered from the previous jump. And we can turn off the med bay for now and just put it all on engines. There we go. Shields up. There comes a missile. I hate missiles. I hate missiles. They knocked our burst laser offline. Hopefully Frecken can get that going pretty quick. Missiles are ready again. 
their shields are down. That's awesome. Now we can put our weapons back up and shoot our lasers. Get down that drone factory too, or drone control. Ow. Wow. So, fire in the med bay. We're going to open that up. So the fire can be put out. Go ahead and blow them up. Fire's out. 27 scrap. You salvage what you can from the broken ship. Investigate the station. The station was apparently designed to re outfit rebel ships with drone systems. You find a functioning schematic for combat drone 1 and 12 more scrap. Sweet. Let's go ahead and get this repaired. Open up some of the doors to get the oxygen evened out while we're repairing. And we don't need to power that up. Everybody back to stations. Exploration stations. Oh, we got two people who need actually do need to heal up here. Get those guys healed up. There we go. Back to your stations. I am going to upgrade something. I do like to spend most of my scrap upgrading this stuff, although I do like to keep some scrap for things that are important, like long-range scanners are good for basically scouting the whole sector. And then there's, uh, my favorite is the scrap recovery arm because it just means you get more scrap for everything you do, which is pretty nice, especially if you get them really early in the game. I want, what do I want? I want, um, hmm, oxygen? No. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Let's go with... We do need more power, though, to power that. Let's grab an extra power, two of those, and one of those, and let's go with that. So we got another layer of shields out of that investment, which is makes us, makes us a lot safer, considering we've taken a lot of damage so far. I think that'll be a good idea. Jumping out of the nebula, the rebel fleet will start pursuing us a lot faster now. You jump into an unremarkable system, no life signs detected within scanning range. Jump to the next system. Let's check out the uh, the store after we visit, like, two more sectors. Three more sectors. See if we can collect some scrap before we go to that store. Your sensors have picked up a refugee ship drifting through a system, no doubt one of many fleeing the rebel advance. It doesn't appear to have detected you, or else it's trying to avoid notice. Let's hail them. As you hail the freighter, it advances, weapons bristling from its hull. It's a pirate ambush. Of course. It's fine, we have two layers of shields now. Let's use our missiles on their shields and burst laser on their weapons. We'll hold off on the burst laser until their shields are down. Shields down, and weapons down. Haha. -ha. Gonna take out their engines and their O2, I guess. We got one missile, one drone part, 19 scrap. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Let's go ahead and keep that 40 scrap we have and jump to the next place. I'm trying to gather enough scrap in case the store has something good we can invest. Scans revealed a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FDL to recharge. Let's explore the asteroid field. We do have uh, improved scanners already, so there's a chance we'll find something good, I hope. Explore the asteroid field. You discover the remains of a ship to, embedded into an asteroid. It still has some functioning missiles. Three missiles, 20 scrap. Sweet. We'll take it. Next jump. So, trying to plot my my escape attempt from here. Okay, that looks good. You recognize the ship as a well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. Buy one slave and free them to join your crew. Attack the slaver scum or ignore the slaver and continue on your way. I'm going to attack them because slavery is not cool. Let's let's go ahead and put a stop to that. Hopefully we can get that, rescue that guy right there. No, that's Big B. So we can't even hit the guy that's, that's enslaved. Let's hope we can rescue him. We do not negotiate with terrorists or slavers or whatever you are. Pirates. Pirates. 
Boom. Hmm. Accept their offer or surrender is not an option. Hmm. Maybe we can free them all if we don't sur don't allow them to surrender. Nope. Now I feel bad. Slave ships destroyed. They won't continue their evil trade, but many lives were probably lost on that ship. That's sad. Very sad. One fuel, one drone, part, and 31 scrap. I just couldn't let that continue. Free them all or free them none? That was a sad ending there. Head to this place here. And then we're going to head to the store next. You're immediately contacted by a settlement. Hello, travelers. Your ship seems to be outfitted for combat. Care to take it up a bit of mercenary work? Sure. Some of our friends have taken to piracy in the recent chaos of the war. We'd like to, you to convince them of their poor decision by severely damaging their ship. We'll pay you well as long as you don't kill them all. I'll try. Just be sure not to blow them up, they say nervously as they direct you to a nearby moon. You find the pirate ship docked there. They immediately respond to your parents, your money, or your life. They must be new at this. Hmm. So how can we damage them without them killing us? I suppose we keep their O2 down. We won't destroy the ship. Let's try that. I can't tell from that message. Were they more worried about the ship or more worried about the people? Hmm. Maybe they'll surrender if their O2 stays down. Do they have? They don't have a med bay, so they can't actually use the med bay. We're just gonna wait and see if we can keep that O2 generator down. Hopefully, he retreats out of the room. Yep. Let's take down their weapons. Yep, they held a ship saying, you win, we're not cut out for this. Let them live and then return to the settlement. Sure. With well, the pirates dissuaded from their career path, you return to the settlement. Thank you, you have returned to us before, they returned to us before you did. I don't think we'll need this anymore. Heavy Mark, uh, Laser Mark 1, 26 scrap. Sweet. Heavy Laser Mark 1. Let's go ahead and grab another power bar and another weapon bar. That way we can enable that extra weapon. I don't like buying weapons so much as I like scavenging them. Because I figure you can pick up weapons throughout all the sectors. What you can't do is upgrade your ship in any way, pretty much. Except, I mean, there's rare cases where you can. But for the most part, you don't get it. You have to do that yourself with your scrap. So I, I tend to focus on that. The space station here has a traveling merchant who shows you his wares. Let's get that repair done. Reconstructive teleport crew gets fully healed by teleportation. Automated reloader. Meh. Weapon pre-igniter is pretty awesome, but it's 120 scrap. Hmm. Another heavy laser. Can't really afford it, though. We, got, we can get rid of this combat drone. I really like combat drones. I also really like heavy lasers. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of this. And grab that heavy laser. And see if we can't get that powered. I'm going to hold off on buying fuel right now. I'm going to see how long we can make it without worrying about fuel. We could buy crew members. But I'm hoping to get crew members from events. Rather than having to pay for them at a store. So let's hope it works out that way. We need an extra bar in the in the weapons department extra bar in the weapons department and extra bar of power we can't afford either of those yet so we're gonna jump jump if we go here they'll move up a layer if we go here they'll move up a layer then we can go out that, that should work you see a civilian space, a space station with heavy damage you receive a message we've been hit hard by this war we need more drone parts to speed up our repairs We'll buy some from you if you have extra. Yes, we have drone parts. You can have them. I wish I could sell more to you, actually. Because I don't have a drone use right now. Let's go to this location. Keep on jumping. An advanced rebel automated ship 
remains stationary, small rebel space station. Sensors indicate it's a storage vessel for military goods. We can attack or we can avoid provoking the ship. Let's uh, go ahead and attack. Blow up this. Blow up this. Blow up this. No shield. Shouldn't be a problem. There. Looks like he's got an ion cannon and a missile. That was easy. You salvage what you can from the broken ship. 19 scrap, and we investigate the station. The station is a storage site for various resources. Your salvage, you salvage everything possible. Three fuel, one drone part, 11 scrap. Continue. Sweet. Can we get our extra bar yet? No, we can't. We'll keep searching for scrap so we can get that. So, warning, this area shows that this, this layer of stars will be next. So, I have to get out of this sector. It's in danger. I can go, I think, here. I think I get one more jump after that. And then I have to get out of dodge. Get out of dodge. That's an interesting thing. I, I need to look up where dodge is. So I can know where to get out of. You receive a hail. You receive a hail from a station orbiting a nearby planet. Captain, we are Federation Terraforming Team C12. And are you in need of assistance? Do you have some time? And are in need of assistance? Yes, we have time. Thank you. We need to scan this planet for life before we can begin terraforming, but our sensors can't get the necessary power to scan through this atmosphere. We've got a schedule to keep. Any chance you can help? We. This is why we upgraded the scanners. Set sen sensors to maximum and scan. A complete scan of the planet reveals a simple mold as the only life present. The terraformers claim their terraforming plans are only hindered by intelligent life. They can begin their work. We can tell them to stop. Any life is viable or leave them to their work. Let's go with the any life is viable. But our livelihood depends on this job. Who cares about some silly mold? We'll pay you to look the other way. We can accept a bribe or we can offer to pay them to at least delay until the mold can be studied. Or we can power our weapons and demand they leave at once. Let's go ahead and pay them and uh, protect that mold. They see reason and accept the offer. The station scientists have a unique talent for life support units and offer to upgrade your oxygen systems as an apology for their behavior. That's right. More oxygen for us. Because we're the good guys. Because we're the good guys. You've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FDL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Continue. Your sensors have picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system. No doubt one of many fleeing the Rebel advance. It doesn't appear to have detected you or else it's trying to avoid notice. Let's hail them. Vessel is relieved to hear from you. They are running low on supplies and they suggest a trade. We'll get five missiles for two fuel. Hmm. Seems like a good deal. We don't plan on buying any missiles, but we'll take some extras when we get them. Uh, from here, we can go to the abandoned sector or the rebel controlled sector. Let's go with abandoned. I want to go up here and head for this uh, unidentified nebula sector because I love nebula sectors. And then continue on that line to the end so yeah and we made it to another sector this sector was the site of many major battles between the federation and rebel fleet strangely there's very little evidence of those battles remaining so yep yeah, that's the first episode of our ftl series if you enjoyed this video please make sure to like comment and subscribe i hope to see you for the next one and remember keep it clean